last portion of the house that needs uh, plaster taken down. And we thought we'd share with you a little bit of what we've learned about taking down plast pl plastic. You know, lath and plaster. Lath and plaster. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the one. So you notice that you've got the lath coming across the studs. I found that the easiest way to break up the plaster, because what's behind the plaster is these, these grooves are filled with plaster, and then it has it has stuff on the back of it kind of mushrooming out, holding on the, on the lath. Um, to the plaster. So what you do is you take, well this is my rebar bender, but you could use a hammer, doesn't matter. You take and use the flattest part to spread the, the weight evenly across the plaster so you don't break out boards as often. You can see that most of these boards are intact. Um, my other worker was using a hammer when he tore down those and you can see a lot of broken boards. Now over here is the last wall that we've been working on. I've been doing that same thing. You can see very few broken boards, which means less cleanup. Because if you can pull off those boards all as one piece, they go in the dumpster much easier. You can carry them in bundles, that kind of thing. Excuse me, Matt. Now here you can see a wall that hasn't been quite touched yet. I left that alone. You can see that I've been trying to find in between the studs, and I just kind of create kind of a pattern of, of breakage. So I go along here, and right here is a stud, and you can hear it and feel it when you're hitting it. Whereas over here, you can see that it breaks out much easier. So you go to the pattern. And then you can see we've got a pattern along the wall. Now the next thing you're going to want to do, if you've got one, is I would grab a good flat shovel. Now make sure you've got a good pin in it and then it's uh, good and sturdy because you're going to want it to be sturdy for the next portion. Remember safety first. We couldn't find your eyeglasses. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yes. Now you can see, as I was knocking down the plaster, the shovel, the reason why I use the shovel is because it spreads the impact over a longer area, breaking the crack that's, that's held on. These grooves here that are holding on, it breaks the surface away from the back. So it falls off in pieces. And what doesn't fall in pieces, as you can see along this stud, can straight, straight off very easily. That's the way, Ben. So... And then around the edges, you're probably just going to take a claw hammer or a framing hammer. Or if you've got a roofing hammer that's got a good uh, blade on it, you can take it and tap out those pieces at the edge. When you're done with that, we'll tell you how to do the, the lath. But that's in the next bit. Okay.